Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we talk about line and area charts analytics section. This is part two of the video because in part one, we discuss the formatting techniques of line and area chart. This time we focus on analytics and we'll take you through forecast and trend line techniques. So let's begin. So before me lies a line chart, you will see the different years on the X axis. You will also see a forecasting area, which is marked in gray, and then also a trend line, which you can make out from the dashed line. Now, all this is because you are in the analytics section of line chart. It is originating from trend line and the forecast option. However, both these options of trend line and forecast is available to you provided you take care of one important setting and that you would find under X axis, the option type, the data set should be continuous, not categorical. If you choose the second one, you notice there is no trend line and there is no forecast. You can even try clicking on the analytics section and you won't find any. So let us try to rebuild what we want to achieve from scratch. First, I go to the practice sheet. I click on the line chart. Once I position this appropriately, let me try to look into fields that I can drag and drop inside this chart. The first one being sales and the next one being date because date hierarchy will give me all the components of time that is year, quarter, month and day. So let me drag order date and put that into my line chart visual. Now I will click on the expansion button so that I can go one level deeper. Now, how do you know it's a continuous data or categorical data? Well, you can go to the format, go to X axis and find for yourself. Only once you've ensured this setting on, can you apply analytics in a much more wider sense. So let me go to analytics section, activate trend line by clicking on the button add. There you go. You can try out other combinations of formatting settings of trend line, but largely my target has been achieved. Why? Because I can already see this trend line giving me four years data set based trend line. Next, I will scroll down and go to the forecast. Within forecast, if I add one forecast, let's see what are the basic combinations of data points available to us. First, what is the forecast length? So you can decide, would you want 10 months or 10 quarters or 10 days? I'm choosing months and after doing so, I may want to click on apply. Similarly, if you want to extend this forecasting period to let's say 12 months, you write 12 and then you click on apply. Noticed? You can also decrease or increase the confidence level. So let's see if I apply 80% and hit apply, what happens? With the decreased confidence level, I have a much narrower band of forecasting numbers. You can also include the seasonality option by putting some number there. So if I put three and I apply, there you go. For now, I'll keep it auto by deleting it and again clicking on apply. Now, once this has been achieved, you can take your time to look into the various options of how the forecasted line would appear in the output. The confidence band style could be line. It could also be fill and you can work around with the transparency. Of course, that is too dark. So let me increase this a bit. So friends, these are the many settings that you get on account of the chart being on a continuous scale. You can also try the options of average line and see how it all works out in the end. And not to forget, when you choose the specific years, your line chart would accordingly change. So friends, this was a quick and short video on the analytics section of line chart. You may get almost 80% of the same settings in the area chart. So try it out on your own and see the difference.